Buenos dias. Today we're going to pinstripe this little white car, a little white blazer. And the products, of course, that I will be using will be the one shot letter enamel, the uh, fine line tape in the blue, because the darker color shows up better when you tape it off a dark color than the uh, green fine line. You can't see that. Also, the wax and grease remover, followed by the Windex, because I can never stress prepping the surface because that is so important. If you don't do that, all your work is crap. So, uh, I'm going to start by taping off the vehicle and uh, getting that part. Okay, I'm using the blue tape, like I said before, because it shows up better than the uh, green fine line. Plus, on a white vehicle, it's not, well, on any vehicle, if it's not straight, it's a piece of crap. But you just want to get one real good. Actually, it's blue is even better for the video. On the other side, I took my little stabilo and a ruler and I make a few little key marks noting distance between here and there and here and there and here and there so that when I tape off this side, it matches the other side. I've never had a customer actually come over and match to make sure each side is perfect, but you never know. So, I'm going to tape off this other side here. I'm using one shot lettering enamel in the color magenta, also magenta mixed with a little uh, white, so that I'll have two colors on there. And of course in each of the paint I put a little bit of the hardener for added durability and gloss. And when I pen start this thing, I'm going to use two different brushes so I don't have to stop and clean out my brushes because I'm too lazy. <laughs> So, um, okay, time to do a little painting on the truck here, or on the car. As you can see, I got it taped off. Let me show you. Uh, pretty simple design, not too complicated. Basically, it's going to have two stripes around the whole vehicle. Little design on the back. Little doohickey there. Little deal on the uh, hood, as you can see. And once again, like I said before, I use the... Uh, the, the blue tape because it shows up better on the white. Oh look, there's a little boo boo on the car. Okay, well, I'm gonna play now. I just about got the pen striping wrapped up, the straight line part. I also, I used two coats of paint because um, one shot lettering enamel isn't the paint it used to be back, uh, say, 20 years ago. It doesn't have lead in it anymore. We miss the lead. 
So I, uh, I give everything two coats of paint so that it will withstand the world and the smog and global warming and um, all those things. So I just about got that part done. And you know, there are some people, a lot of, well not a lot, but yeah, there are a lot of people who will still do the old school striping where you basically do this deal here, we go, and that's fine. And there are jobs where you have to do it that way. You cannot tape it off. Um, at the Rolls Royce plant, where they pinstripe the Rolls Royce, the guy is there. He doesn't use tape. He just goes, and it goes right down the line and makes his deal there. And like I said, there are a lot of cars where you have to still hand pinstripe it without any tape. That's fine too. That takes a little more practice. But for this car, we're not doing that way. This is not a Rolls Royce, okay? Along with the uh, pinstriping here, the lady wanted to have like a rose painted on each side here. So I kind of wiped off some of the striping that was underneath the rose because I didn't want the lines going underneath the rose. It would kind of mess it up. And I just kind of hand painted this little rose here. And I'm just going to kind of clean it up. Add a few more little highlights. You know, you wouldn't think a rose is hard to paint, but man, it's got a lot of detail in it. All the little individual leaves and stuff. So I'm going to paint this on there. And uh, get it on there. The, the overall color is very light because I don't want to put a real dark colored uh, rose and leaves on a white surface. It wouldn't look good that way. It's better to keep it on the lighter side. So I got this just about done. And I'm going to detail on the leaf there. Also, you know, I got a little bleed out with the tape and now that the thing's tacked up for a little bit, it's a lot easier to wipe these off. If you wipe them off right away, sometimes they make a bigger mess. And if you have one of these, you can get those at any auto body supply or even Coast Airbrush. It's a really good tool for getting in little crevices without making a big mess of your pen stripe job. There you go. Clean that up a little bit. It's a bug. <laughs> okay, I just about got this job wrapped up and I just need to do the little ends and stuff like that. And on the ends, you really don't want to tape that stuff off to get a natural pinstripe look to it. You know, you do it by hand, you just come in and go wee, and uh, get those things done by hand. I'm going to do it on this side. Excuse my back side here. Swing it up there. That one, the hood. by hand and it may take a little practice but um, that's how you do it. <laughs> there all done well I got done with this little job and hopefully it'll help you with uh, you know if you ever want to try it, your hand at pen striping you know and I did use the uh, one shot lettering enamel you could after you become very accustomed to doing pen striping try the house of colors um, urethane striping and lettering enamel it's, it's a pretty good product it's made for uh, if, if the vehicle is going to get cleared over with an automotive clear if not, just go with the one shot. There you go. I'm going to uh, take the camera back and uh, kind of show you the finished vehicle. It's uh, Like I said, it's a simple job. That's why I thought it would be really good to uh, do a video with this one in particular. And, you know, if you ever want to see some really good examples of really good pen striping, go to the uh, mostly the low rider car shows. They got the best stuff, the, 
The low riders are not afraid of the color and the design. In fact, they want a lot of color and design. Um, if you live in the southern states, California, Texas, they got the best, the best cars. Up here, we, we don't have much. Down there, they got it. Plus, they have the, uh, the really good stripers down there because the demand is higher and the quality, the, the, the low riders are used to seeing a certain quality, so they're more, um, their eye is more accustomed to a more uh, nice job. So, All right, I'm going to put all my toys away, and like I said, I'm going to take the camera back and show you the uh, finished job. So there's the uh, finished job, not too complicated, pretty simple. I thought a simple job like this would be uh, good to do a video with because the white background shows up pretty well. And so now that you saw how to kind of pinstrap a vehicle, you can give it a try. It's not that hard, of course, you know, just using a brush takes a little practice. But you can do it if you really want to do it, okay? Hasta la vista. See ya.